to speak life into your situation. Speak life over your situation. Speak life into the universe, guys. Mighty matchless power of our Father Jesus Christ. Every ugly attempt to betray, to do harm to you, there's power in your joy. I think you're finally tired. You must want me to carry her the rest of the way. This beautiful, beautiful summer like day. Our evil pass us through the betrayals. Evil pass us through the trials. And the victims of the enemy. For his name's sake, we are blessed. And we come out a living testimony. We come out a living testimony. Keep joy. Always keep that joy. He will refine you in all you do. And he will give us the strength and the courage. And he will give us the and the foresight to forgive those who are hurting us and wronging us and have wronged us or have hurt us. He will do that for us. And the foresight to forgive those who are hurting us and wronging us and have wronged us or have hurt us. He will do that for us. In God's will, it shall be done. In God's timing, He will He will refine you. Through God's might, matchless mighty power, Spirit, it's not always easy to forget and forgive. That's why we refresh every day, every new day, with the Lord's glory. into every situation because it's a life it's a life saver yes do it stay glory to god
And yeah, I should have some, some cold water. Hold on. So today we are feeling springy and yeah, I love this little place that's got the flowers underneath the dark background. It's really cute. Little boots at the moment. situation. Speak life over your situation. Speak life into the universe, guys. So hey, so uh, oh, I'm gonna drink. So yeah, hey guys. Uh, anyway, um, I'm sharing this because it's very, very powerful, and I'm. It's just one of those things that um, is truly a testimony that is bigger than life. I guess you could just say it's, it is life. It's a life testimony of the greatest proportions that you could, that are, uh, Super, uh, it's just, it's very phenomenal and supernatural, um, humbling, uh, and yeah, um, but anyway, I want to share it as a testimony uh, to our Father, to God, and um, yeah, it's okay. So basically, I feel very heavy still, but I feel very, very grateful, very humbled 
very in awe and it has taken a little time even, although this has just happened, but it has taken a little time to grasp the whole magnitude of this testimony. Um, <laughs> it is just, you just can't make this stuff up. This is just so out there. This is just so unbelievable that it's just, oh, I don't know how to say it in a way that does it justice because it's, it's all because of him. It's all because of God. And I realize that, you know, um, by me sharing these powerful, powerful testimonies, it is doing God's service and it is paying, it is giving him that glory. In a way, I'm going to do my best to share this with you because it's just so powerful. Um, I, I didn't expect it to be so difficult really, but I, okay, so uh, the part that I won't share, I'm, I'm not going to share, uh, but the parts that I am going to share, we'll just start right there. So, okay, so I know that there was been turbulence going on everywhere in the world, and yeah, uh, the fact that this happened on a certain time line is just like mind-blowing in itself, but other than that, um, the fact that this was somehow, how is the thing is, it's like, it, it, it defies all logic, but I'm so grateful because guys, this is a testimony of be of life, as I said. Um, so recently on into the night, okay, there had been a lot of wind and I guess storms basically everywhere and it was pretty late and I had already been going through some things you know and so I was already kind of like does anybody else know that that feeling where you're like uh, you're kind of amped up in the fight or flight mode uh, I mean that it's just you're kind of you're heightened everything is sort of heightened within you so I was already in that a little bit, but it just was so mind blowing. Uh, so anyway, the, the turbulence in the world and everything, it, I know that everybody's going through things and I send out prayers for anybody that needs it. Uh, I, I'm sending out uh, my uh, positive, um, energy to anybody that is going through anything or has gone through anything like this or is going through anything or you know so but as far as for me what 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 I went through <laughs> what has taken place here is just on a whole nother level so it was it was one of those times and it, it, it was like uh it was going on it was getting on late you know it was I would say it was probably, well, it was stormy. Uh, the storms had been kind of moving, coming in, but uh, uh, to me, it just seemed like they were slow moving storms, you know, and it was taking forever for the storm to uh, get here, basically. But uh, nonetheless, it did, and the winds came, and uh, I was just like, totally like I had been praying and everything so you know uh and not just about storms and stuff but I had I just been doing a lot d staying in prayer a lot uh so I always I love the rain I love I love nature you know and but 
the storms rolled in. The wind got pretty wild. And um, the first thing that happened was, okay, we heard, okay, the wind was like just going crazy. And I looked out and the trees were just a swaying and a blowing and it was just really loud and everything. And so I just like, well, you know, that's the, that's, you know, that's mother nature. That's the wind. That's, you know, I was fine, feeling great about it, you know, but, you know, I knew that, you know, there was, you know, a chances of, you know, heavy winds and stuff. We've been all, all over the U.S. has been, you know, going through this stuff. So anyway, um, we heard a loud kind of a, just a big boom, I guess that's how you describe it. Uh, the dogs were up barking and we went and looked out and we couldn't really tell, but it looked to, it looked as, the, okay, so this is like dark, this is like right going on around, oh, I'd say sometime after 1 a.m. And so it's, you know, it's dark out and everything, but, um. So we looked out and it looked to be like one of the trees had come down. Now the tree had come down uh, in a spot. Well, the way the tree came down was quite amazing because first of all, and it was like, I had been, we had been talking about that tree like two days before this took place, but I was like, we were talking about that tree because it was a it was a tree that was it was a big tree but it was like kind of dead like it was like just hollowed out in the middle and it didn't have any life to it except at the very top it did a little but anyway i was like you know that really needs to come down i really i really I, and i was thinking this part to myself i really wish that we could just you know i i i hope that you know we can get rid of that tree sometime because it's just it, 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 it's not a stable tree and it's dead. It's not pretty and, you know, but anyway, so it looked to be that the tree was down and, but there was part of it still up, but not very much of it. And, um, so we thought, okay, well, then I, then, uh, we checked to make sure well, at that point, we were in a, kind of in a, uh, I was in a state of, uh, well, you know, this is getting crazy. You know, the tree come down, and I wasn't sure, you know, if, uh, I knew it hadn't didn't hit the house. That was the main thing. But at this point, I was like, just, you know, amped up. My, my heightened sensitivities were like sparking out, you know. And so, um... <laughs> It was just like one of those things that you just, you know, you're like, wow, wow, that was, you know. And then I realized it was that tree. I said, is it that one tree? And so then I went back out and looked and, you know, it was, I thought, oh, that's that, that is that tree that I didn't want, that it needs to come down. And so I was, oh, you know, and so then it was really, you get more windy and stuff, you know, it was like coming in spurts and stuff. And I was just freaking out. And, um, cause you could just hear everywhere around the like cracking and like just all kinds of noises from the wind, you know, things, you know, it was just like in the land of Oz type thing. And so then, uh, things seemed to settle down somewhat. Well, they didn't settle down, but that part of it was over, you know, and so we thought, well, okay, the tree's down, you know, I need, and this is a massive, massive, massive tree. So that in itself was like a total blessing and a miracle because one thing about it was the tree, he said, I just hope it didn't smash my mower because he had this big riding mower. And uh, I was like, oh, I hope it didn't hurt my chairs. <laughs> Because the way that it had fallen, it was right by those things. I will try to post a pic up in there so you can see. But anyway, 
the it was amazing because it it was just like right there by the moor and the moor was untouched you know it was like a little piece of this twig on there kind of maybe but it wasn't bothered at all and my chairs when I went and looked there were the, the the leafy part of the tree everything was just down all around it but there stood the chairs you know untouched and I was like wow you know my chairs are okay you know uh come to find out you know that his mower was okay and the chairs were okay and everything was okay with that and I was glad about that but then a little bit later I'd say uh maybe an hour later we heard the loudest noise and it just sounded like like it just was right outside where we by where we were inside the house and it just was like bang you know it's so loud and we like what's that you know oh my god there's another one we thought it was another tree we did not know so we go outside it's windy it's I think I don't know for sure if this by this time if the rains had come in with it I think it was mostly just the wind anyway uh so we looked around and then we saw something and we, we couldn't see because it was so dark and it looked like you couldn't really tell what it was. If it was a tree, we, I, we just thought it was a tree at first, you know, and uh, anyway, so that was unsettling, but you know, it was just, it was just unbelievable what, what happened. We, and then we thought, well, we're not going to know. We kept going out and trying to see. We couldn't tell, really. So we said, well, there's just no way we're going to know until the morning. So as soon as daylight comes, we get out and, my gosh, uh, <laughs> it was a, it was like a, two of them, it was like two roofs were laid out, like, a little ways down from where I had where the, our other two trees are that I've made flower beds around and stuff and they these 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 roofs were huge but and we and we didn't realize what we it was like is it from our shed you know so we we're trying well this is before it got daylight we were thinking is that a part of a roof is it from our shed and then in the morning we when we went out to look we was like is that is it our sheds and stuff? So we went running around looking at our roofs. We did not know if it was our roof because it was just hard to tell. But anyway, our roofs were all intact. And you got to realize that this this storm is still going on. It went on a, a whole nother day as well. So, so for two days, you, you, you go through this. But anyway... Uh, we all then we realized we thought well maybe it's you know it had to be somebody's roof and I, it was so massive and so big that i thought well this roof uh is could be somebody's house and he says well it's probably more like a barn or something so um yeah so we didn't know we we just knew that a that the a roof had landed in our yard it was just like a great big a ship it was just it's just so um, big and um anyway so uh we were just so grateful and so amazed and at this point i was just so grateful that it wasn't our roof and that it wasn't from any of any of our things you know it was it, it had come it had blown in from somewhere else but the crazy thing about this is is that this thing that come in like that it all there was only like a couple branches off of our tree it and i thought that the trees I thought that the direction that it had come, it had actually uh, broke the branches because it had come from that direction. 
Well, come to find out that the, the, the roof, the roofs came from a totally different direction, far away, far further away from us, and they had flown high up into the sky, and they had somehow flown high enough to not hit any of our trees, and I've got tall trees, not hit this house or anything, not, you know, and land there. And, the, and somehow this thing had come flying through. It had it come flying through our, just over our yard, our house, everything, and then landed where it landed. And I was like, my gosh. How does that happen? That is unbelievable. That, I mean, the, 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 the fact that this thing was so big and it didn't do no damage to nothing except, except nothing, basically. It just landed down there. And I'm like, you know, there were a couple little branches like off of the trees that, that I thought, you know, had... But later to come to find out that the the, the 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 roofs had come from far away in a whole different direction from the backside and flew over. Because when I heard the bang, when we heard the bang, it was like right outside of the window. So it was really close. And the thing, had, so I'll show the photos that I've got of that. But anyway, then as the magnitude of this thing come to even more clear to me. Um, and of course, you, you're still uptight because the storm is not over. We had to run out and put heavy things down on it so it didn't catch and I was worried that it might try to fly again, you know, because uh, the winds were so intense. And so we, we got it weighted down and everything. And so it was very, very, it was a very hard time basically. and. Um, but yeah, then I realized, you know, that we were just so lucky to be alive even. It wasn't just, then, it, then you know, the, the whole magnitude starting to sink in more and more because I'm thinking, well, everything, at first it was like, we're, everything's okay, but, you know, it didn't, it, it wasn't our roof, it wasn't, you know, I mean, I, I feel bad for whose roof it is, but I mean, I was just like, well, it's, you know, it was, it was okay because, you know, it, it just didn't do, it didn't hurt anything, you know, and that was just a relief off my mind. But then I was like thinking, wow, you know, that, that could have, that could have done so much damage. That could have, that could have flew over and landed on top of this house and it was so big and so heavy, it would have just caved in this house and it would just like, we could be just not even here, you know, we could have just not survived it if that thing had come in and, the, you know. So it was just like, God is just so amazing and so good because he, I always felt like I was protected, you know. And I always say that I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, he's, I'm like his little testimony, testimonial thing, girl, you know, and it's like, I always feel like I'm, I'm protected, but I, I don't always realize the magnitude of it until something like this happens. And this is just like, so mind blowing. You just can't, nobody could believe this. It's unbelievable, actually, <laughs> because when you see the size of this thing and you realize that nothing was touched here, it's just unbelievable. It's the work of God. And I'm just so, 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 so grateful for him. And... I just want to say, guys, that 
I want, I, everybody should have that sort of knowing and faith. And during the whole ordeal of this thing, it was scary. I kept, I had a, I had my faith, but going through that with, it, it's just tense because, you know, it's like, it was just like, it, it, it's just very stressful basically is what it is like. But anyway, I'm like, oh, praise all to God. It's all, all to him. He gets all the glory. Um. You know, and it, I'm just thankful. I'm, 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 I'm at peace because, because I, I see now even more and more. I feel his presence and his hand upon my, my life. And I just so grateful he saved us all. He protected us. And I want, I just want that for everybody. I want everybody to come to know the Lord in that way so that they can have a relationship and feel, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just a matter of getting close. And I've had things I wanted to read, but right now I'm just not even, I'm just kind of still, you know, trying to take this all in, but I'm just so grateful that we are okay and that no, no damage was done. And, you know, it's, it, it, it's a big mess, but you know, that's minor, you know, I mean, that's just something that, you know, we'll just work on a little at the time and get things cleaned back up. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's mind-blowing, but it is, it is the way it is, and, and I suggest that you do as well, guys. Stay close to the Word. Stay close. Stay connected to the Most High. Stay connected to God, because He is omnipresent. He is looking out for us, and He, He is there, and, yeah, He, He, it, there's just no other way that this thing could have been happened the way it did without him in the mix of this. It's all glory to him. So I give him praise and I'm sharing this testimony as a honor and all glory to God. And yeah, please guys. This is serious. You need to really, really get in a connection with the Most High Lord, God, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and stay in communion with Him so that you can have a, learn to have a relationship if you don't. And if you do, that's great, you know, but it can just, it can just mean so much. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I wanted to share because I just thought maybe this will help somebody, uh, inspire somebody. Uh, I'm still blown away from this. I don't really know how to react. I mean, uh, there were times I even cried and got even... This tree, I wanted to come down because oh, it was a it, dead tree. Look at that. Did you not hit the house? I'm just so emotional about it because it was just so powerful, you know.
realization that, you know, how serious this thing, the, how it could have been, you know, and how miraculous that, how did this even happen? How did this go so far away and land here, but then fly so high up, but yet not touch or hurt any of our stuff? It was just like unbelievable. And so, anyway, I just thought that that might help somebody to encourage you, you know, to get excited, to get close to the God, to the Lord. And yeah, I hope that, uh, I hope that it does. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to put some little photos in so that you can get an, a little bit of an idea of what, what I'm talking about. But anyway, I shall be back, guys, and I hope that you're doing well. I wish you all the best, and yeah, um, I shall talk to you soon. Peace out. Take care. See you soon, guys. Look at the color. Just wanted to say hi, and uh, oh, I was going to show you my cute little outfit. I got this little top with it not too long ago, actually. It's been a little while. It's been a minute, but yeah, I put together this really nice look. It's really cute, fun look. So I hope you like it. Stay tuned. So I've got me some chia tea here. It's really good. I'm really loving it. I've been drinking tea again. And I just love the chai. I call it chia. It's chai tea. It's really good. And I'm getting ready to do some meal prepping. I have uh, lots of things to work with. And I've got these really amazing, well, these cutest little peppers. Let me show them to you, just a sec. Okay, look at these adorable little peppers. They are so cute. And I know my, my dorkies are going to just love these. They love these, they're so sweet. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to make, I'm going to make use with these and I have some other things, some other uh, fresh veggies. I'm going to make a pasta salad and then I'm going to make a maybe a pasta dish but then i also thought of how delicious it would be to actually stuff these little peppers so i'm thinking about and you know how it is i uh because i'm a vegan i like to meal prep i like to have lots of food on hand so i thought what i would do is i would definitely make pasta salad because i definitely want a lot of raw veggies in the salad and then i thought i would make a like a kind of a baked ziti uh, that's like with the pasta and the veggies and stuff like that and then I thought maybe I will make a bean kind of like a bean dip seasoned up with a little rice and stuff the peppers and then bake these kind of like on top of the the baked well the, the, the uh, pasta dish that I'm actually going to cook. So I, I'm excited to make all this stuff and have, what it is is it's just that once it's made and you have food to last you like a, a week or so, and usually it's a, it'll last me a week, it just, 
feels so amazing and so good. And you don't have to worry about doing it because it's already done. So I'm getting ready to do that, guys. And I wish you all the best. Send you out so much love, guys. And take care. And always remember to make each make the make each moment special in your life. And don't ever forget. Don't ever forget our Father, God, who makes everything beautiful and everything new. And he's looking out for you and he's he's ever watching us ever so closely guys and I so I want to remember I just want a little reminder just a little important very important reminder guys to stay in tune to that that um, frequency of high vibration and love and peace and the maker of it all our father our lord savior jesus christ and yeah so i am going to i'm going to work the veggies i've got well i've actually got this i'm looking forward to because i'm thinking this is like one of those sugar babies it's a lot smaller and it reminds me of the sugar babies challenge it's so good it's just so sweet so yeah anyway peace out guys see you soon Take care. Much love.